Hello and welcome to this screencast. In this screencast I'm going to be using the ozone spreadsheet uh, to calculate the ozone concentration, the ozone mixing ratio and also the ratio of ozone to atomic oxygen. In order to do this I'm going to use the formulae that we derived in the lectures. This one here describes the ozone concentration this one, the ratio between ozone and atomic oxygen. And this one gives me the relationship between concentration of molecular oxygen and that of air density itself. Because we know that the oxygen concentration is going to be 0.21 or 21% of the total air concentration. Right. So to do this, we need to go into cell I2 here and notice that I'm doing it for the equator spreadsheet. So in this cell, I need to type in equals, well, if we look at the formula, the formula involves taking the square root. And then there's a special function for square root in Excel. It is SQRT. And then we need to open bracket. Well, these numbers on the numerator here, I will also want to put in a bracket as well. So let's do that. And the first thing I need to do is multiply J1, which is found in column E. And so we want E2 for this altitude, times K2, which is G2, times O2 squared. Well, I don't have O2, but I do have M. So O2 squared would be 0 0.21 times M all squared. So let's do that. Let's put it all into another bracket. So 0 0.21 times M. And then I can square everything inside the brackets by shift 6, which gives me this circumflex symbol and then 2 to show that it's taken the square. I can then multiply everything again by m. And that will work for the numerator. And I simply divide through, and again, for the denominator, open bracket, j3 here times k4, close bracket. And now I can finish off the square root, closing the final bracket. Notice that the, the brackets are coloured different colours so that you can see where you are. And there we are, and that's the answer. Well, this formula itself could have been made slightly simpler. Rather than saying 0.21 times m squared and then times m again, I could have written this just as 0.21 squared times m cubed. So let's just show that that would uh, lead to the same result. I'm just going to edit this formula now to make this 0.21 squared times m cubed. Return. And notice that gives me exactly the same result. Now, remember that in the last spreadsheet and in the lesson, in one of the uh, lectures, I showed you how to also complete what we need to do was mouse over the black square found in the right bottom right hand corner and then double click like so and then this creates the same formula but for the different rows okay well to convert ozone in concentration to mixing ratio we simply need to divide the ozone concentration by the air density or the air concentration here. So this column is simply going to be equal to I2 divided by D2. Again, if I highlight this cell and then double click on the square, it will auto complete for me. And then finally, out of interest, let's do the, uh, the ratio of ozone to atomic oxygen. And for this, I will need to use this formula here. So the ratio is equal to, I'll open bracket, K2 
O2 times O2, but remember that's 0 0.21 times M, so the result will be 0 0.21 times M, which is D2 squared, all divided by J3, which is F2. And there we go. Also complete. This final column here shows exactly what we predicted in the lectures, that as we go to higher and higher altitudes, the ratio of ozone to atomic oxygen is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. By the time we reach 50 kilometers here, it's equal to 3.8, which is quantitatively in agreement with the, with the calculations that we did in the lectures themselves. Note that we found that uh, when we reach an altitude of perhaps 60 kilometers, that this ratio should be equal to 1. This is how we calculate the ozone concentration, the ozone mixing ratio using Excel. And you've also learned how you can create these formulae. And you've also learned how to also complete. Um, with regard to these graphs which uh, have appeared, you can see that uh, the concentration, the peak in the concentration of ozone is at a different altitude to the peak in the ozone mixing ratio. Okay. So you can see here that the peak is actually at the equator. It won't be the same at 30 degrees north and 60 degrees north. But at the equator, the peak in the ozone concentration lies at 20 kilometers. Okay, thanks for listening.